Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back of his Teardown Lab. This is my OnePlus 3T dash charging cable, and I've had it a few years now. Well, at least at least a year, and uh, it gets a lot of a lot of action. And you can see here, it certainly looks like it's starting to perish. In fact. I'm kind of worried about what I'm seeing. So I thought, why don't we dissect it here? I was going to repair it, uh, but I've actually got a spare and I've already ordered a spare spare. So we've got lots of spares on the way. But I wouldn't like to totally, you know, destroy it because it's still a dash cable. And I'm not sure what makes a dash a dash. It certainly does something. You know, non-dash cables that won't dash, they know. There's probably some sort of resistor or something. But we can check that out if it actually totally dies. But it would be nice to see what's happened to this knackered section. So I'm just trying to dissect it without cutting any internals. I think we're there now. Let's have a look, see. I suspect it's just a lot of movement. It looks like, is that graphite? It looks like potentially it does have a, a sort of graphite internal. It's weird. No smell, no nothing. That's interesting. I mean, that, it could it could actually genuinely have something to, so it doesn't um, knacker when you flex it, so it's sort of lubricated. But that appears to be totally gone. So we do have another twist here of a sort of shield. So it's really well shielded, isn't it? It's almost overly shielded. Wouldn't expect expect it to have that much, but it does. Just going to cut away that last bit. Yes. So what would be nice would be to repair this by probably bridging that, although I don't know if it's necessary. We've got some pretty strong here look, looking bands there. You can see that right there. It's actually got some tough old things going down there, but we could uh, try to bridge this anyway and then see if we could get some heat shrink on it. But problem is you've got a fat end that you're trying to get some heat shrink onto a thin bit so that's always an issue because quite frankly your chances of threading something suitable are pretty rare let's leave that like that for now we'll turn on the solder iron and have a look see we've got a few to choose from in our box of old heat shrinks No chance. No chance. And then everything else is just going to be mega big. Mega big. So we're going to have to go with a mega big, if anything. I kind of think a ratio... Probably that would do. Got it in green as well, actually green or blue but that's you can see that's the difference between the two sizes not much but it would have been nice to have that in the red so I don't think this is gonna bite it doesn't matter I should check this box before cutting up that because you never know you better hope and pray that you make it back into your own world no so there does uh, there are some other products on there if i recall there is a kind of a heat shrink wrap the heat shrink wrap and uh, that you could use bloody broken box and that you could use by uh, wrapping it around the uh, thing and then hitting it with heat afterwards but uh, i don't have any such materials on me so we're just gonna have to make do in fact, I'm gonna put this big box of heat shrink out of my face let's 
see what we can do with some solder on here. Stay with me. Yep, that's uh, that does look like it's uh, taking some solder there. That's nice. I think that's they're almost long enough. They are long enough. Hooray! Just making it pretty. That's all. I've uh, readjusted the aperture on my camera, so it should be focusing a little tighter now. Yeah, I think that's all right. Oh, what did I take the green out for? Bugger. That's a big old piece of green. Doesn't matter though. Let's uh, let's go for a little experiment here. Let's try a double heat shrink action on this thing. Don't worry, I have a diabolical master plan here. Yowzers! Yowzers, Penny! Um, let's do it there. I just got another idea before I... Uh, Before I seal that, let's get some glue gun in there. Turn that off for a sec. This bit's going to take a couple of moments. So I'm just taking this glue stick, actually. I'm going to cut it into a few shards. Chardonnay. <laughs> I need I need some higher definition fingers. High def. Come on. Come on. There we go. You better hope and pray. What the hell is that song? Something from, from from the 80s, I think. I'm just posting these down. Get in there. Ah, oh, this is way too much. I don't let that stop me. Oh, I wish I posted some of it down the first layer. If I if I go to this bit, which is a bit pointy, I might be able to get in that green bit. Yes. Get in there. Oh no, release. Look at that. This is going to be explosive when it uh, gets the heat on it. That's what I want. 
Okay, so we've packed all the layers in there with glue gun. I'm going to hold it just like this. I'm going to try to seal it from the top and then work my way down. Oh. Cold air. Oh, look at that. Isn't that the most heavy duty looking thing you've ever seen? It's still a bit warm, but I've no doubt it will still fit. I mean, that's the main thing. And yes, it still fits. Hurrah! So I think when this cools, it's actually going to harden. And that's going to be absolutely um, rock solid. And Though it might not be ideal, you might want it a bit pliable. In fact, you know, I'd like it maybe with a 90 degree bend. In fact, if I really wanted to, I could ah, put a bend in it. Shall I? Yeah, it's got a wrinkle in it now. Made a little wrinkle in it. But yeah, that's how you'd make your own 90 degree bend USB. Well, it does have a, a little, a wee little wrinkle in there. It, yeah. But you know, practically speaking, it's probably safer to have the bend in it with the wrinkle than have it without the wrinkle and then, uh, you know, bend it afterwards because this thing won't want to bend when it's done. Yeah. Hooray! So now I can use it in the position I want and I know I need the bend in it. And I can choose do I want the bend on the left or the bend on the right? That will satisfy my needs till my cable comes. Oops. There you go. Fantastic! Fantastic! So, if you want to try that, get some heat shrink and do some bending. As ever, guys, thank you for watching.